It finally happened! The biggest Apple's release since 2007, the Vision Pro. Just hours ago, Apple unveiled its new game-changing device that totally reshapes everything that we knew about AR and VR. So let's take a look at everything that we know about the Apple Vision Pro. Here is what Tim Cook said. Built upon decades of Apple innovation, Vision Pro is years ahead, and unlike anything created before, it unlocks incredible experiences for our users. And judging by what I saw, I almost believe them. Apple doesn't even call it God Goggles, it's a spatial computing platform. It says a lot about the attitude. Pivotal moment, nothing less. All right, with this device, Apple is determined to bring truly extraordinary experience to its users. First, Vision Pro should give you an independent canvas for work and leisure. A three-dimensional interface of the new system called Vision OS is supposed to break free from the traditional display boundaries, allowing apps to appear side by side at any scale. The three-dimensional interface makes digital content blend seamlessly with the physical world, providing a realistic sense of scale and distance. Apple claims that the interface, elements, and windows will not only be resizable with simple gestures, but also cast shadows and physically interact with your surroundings. To me, it seems like a bit of a bold claim, but we all know Apple, they deliver on a promise sooner or later. I think that we're gonna see when we finally get the product into our hands would be something truly special. This wouldn't have been possible without new display tech, which I will cover later on, and without the new input system. Apple claims they found a way to interact with the system with eyes and gestures. With eyes it's relatively simple, a bunch of sensors for eye tracking, but with hands, an array of cameras is supposed to scan hand movements in real time and recognize gestures. The biggest difference from what we've seen before is the absence of controllers you need to hold and the simplicity of gestures. Apple claims there is no need to hold your hands in front of you to use gestures. Finally, we're not gonna look like idiots. Simple, natural, low-key experience with a new input system controlled by eyes, hands, and voice, we will be able to navigate and interact with spatial content effortlessly. That's why we love Apple. And this new input method should allow us to take full advantage of that large canvas in space. But large canvas is not all. Apple positions Vision Pro to be not only a leisure device, but as a replacement to personal computers in a way. Vision Pro will support Magic Keyboard and Magic Trackpad, which should turn these goggles into a real work machine. We'll see how it goes, but even that is not the most interesting thing. Apple Vision Pro features two ultra-high resolution displays that can transform any space into your personal movie theater. They claim it feels like you're watching on a screen that's 100 feet wide. According to Apple, each one of two micro OLED displays is the size of a post stamp, but has many times more pixels than an iPhone display. 23 million pixels in total. This sounds totally unreal to me, and it is hard to believe that there is tech that can flawlessly run such a resolution. I simply can't imagine how awesome it will be to watch movies in this headset. Especially with environments, which is a brand new thing, with a turn of a digital crown you will be able to surround yourself with a beautiful landscape, shielding you from reality and creating a world around you. I have to admit, this environment's feature sounds intriguing. Being able to escape into serene landscapes or create a clutter-free virtual space could be refresh and change, especially when you're trying to concentrate or relax. Alongside that, Apple promises to allow users to get immersed into 180-degree high-resolution recordings with spatial audio. This should make your content consumption and overall running from reality even more effective. And don't get me wrong, I'm not skeptical, I'm just too excited. Apple Vision Pro also promises to unlock new types of games that can immerse you in all new worlds. You will be able to play over 100 Apple Arcade games on a screen as large as you want on day one, with incredible immersive audio and support for popular game controllers. Personally, I think that gaming will be extraordinarily impressive in this thing, but still can shake off a question. Will Apple Arcade be enough? Because there's been no information about any AAA games like Half-Life Alex being supported in any way. So to me, it seems like a capability worthy of mentioning. To really take advantage of such impressive hardware, Apple will need something more than just porting existing arcade games, but will see how it goes. There are other cool features to talk about, like an ability to record truly immersive memories thanks to a true depth camera. 3D memories are now a thing. 
get used to it. From what I understood, you'll need to use this helmet to record these videos and take these photos, which might be challenging. I don't know why Apple can't use the iPhone's LiDAR during video recording to transform almost any video into a 3D experience, but still, very impressive feature that's worth a try. Apple also talked about spatial FaceTime calls, and to me this sounds like something Mark Zuckerberg would do. Apple Vision Pro during spatial FaceTime calls reflects participants in life-size tiles, and the spatial audio makes it seem like they're speaking from where they are positioned. They've even got this digital representation called Persona that mimics your face and hand movements in real time. It sounds pretty cool, but I can't help but wonder if it's more of a gimmick than a necessary addition to our video calls. Another software-related thing is app support. Apple not only introduced a brand new app store specifically for Vision Pro, but also made it clear that iPhone and iPad apps will work natively on Vision Pro, fully utilizing the new input system. What I liked about the new device is the EyeSight system. This system uses cameras and a third external display to connect the person in goggles to the world around. Apple says that this feature will not let you get isolated by showing people your eyes when someone approaches you. And if you are in the middle of doing something, the external display will give Zeus on that, signaling that the person is immersed. I really can't believe that that's the world we live in. That's some serious cyberpunk stuff right here. But all that is mostly software and Apple, as we know, is great at software. But what about the hardware itself? Because you're gonna be wearing this device on your head and that's where it gets really interesting and even surreal. When it comes to design, Apple Vision Pro represents the pinnacle of personal electronics, combining innovation and meticulous engineering. A single piece of three-dimensionally formed and laminated glass acts as an optical surface, serving as a lens for the array of cameras and sensors. The glass elegantly transitions into custom aluminum alloy frame that gently curves around the user's face. For comfort and precision, the light seal made of soft textile comes in various shapes and sizes, flexing to conform to the user's face. A headband available in multiple sizes provides cushioning, breathability, and stretch. This three-piece system is modular and people should be able to swap pieces as needed, just like the ear caps on AirPods Max. This is a huge difference from other similar devices, which usually have one size that should fit everyone but ends up not fitting anyone. I hope that Vision Pro will be as comfortable as they claim it to be, that we won't have a light leakage problem or experience a lot of weight, but we'll see when we get there. But the design of the outside is one thing. There is much more happening on the inside, believe me. First thing that blows minds is the display inside. Or should I say displays? As I already said earlier, each display is the size of a post stamp, but has a resolution that's higher than 4K. 23 million pixels, that's no joke. All that's possible thanks to micro OLED technology and allows for incredible colors and vibrancy. Let's not forget the lenses, which comfortably sit between your eyes and the displays. The three lens system is incredibly thin and doesn't negatively impact the image quality. Yet I still have to see the field of view of this thing to see what we're dealing with. Also, Apple has partnered with Zeiss to create a set of prescription lenses that simply snap on the existing lens system, which should make Vision Pro great for people with bad eyesight like me. Another aspect of the internal design are the spatial audio speakers built in. An advanced spatial audio system should create a sense that sounds are emanating from the environment around the user, matching the space they're in. The audio pods contain two individually amplified drivers, delivering personalized spatial audio based on the user's unique head and ear geometry. And not only that, but the geometry of your space also is taken into account, tailoring every sound to your surroundings. This should be amazing, but I'm sure most people will use this headset in AirPods for the ultimate immersion. All these innovations are powered by Apple Silicon, utilizing a unique dual chip design. The M2 chip provides a great standalone performance, while the brand new R1 chip handles input processing from multiple sources. This includes data from 12 cameras, 5 sensors, and 6 microphones, ensuring that content appears seamlessly in front of the user's eyes in real time. 
design. To accommodate for this dual chip design, the headset also has fans and perforations to allow the air to pass through. We don't know yet how silent it will be, but judging by what we know about the M2 chip, those coolers would probably work a lot, so hope they are silent though. Apple Vision Pro also prioritizes user privacy with its secure authentication system called Optic ID. This system analyzes the user's iris using invisible LED light exposures and compares it to encrypted Optic ID data stored in the secure enclave. This allows for instant unlocking of Apple Vision Pro while keeping the user's Optic ID data protected and inaccessible to apps. Also, your eye tracking data remains private and is not shared with Apple, third-party apps, or websites. This ensures that your browsing and interaction within Apple Vision Pro stay confidential. Moreover, data from the camera and other sensors is processed at the system level, meaning individual apps do not have access to your surroundings to enable spatial experiences. So at least we should be safe from annoying ads popping out right where we're looking. All that seems great until you hear about one thing, battery life. This headset, according to Apple, can live only two hours using the external power source that you have to carry with you. You will still have a cable dangling around and that power unit itself won't be the lightest thing to carry around. This is a huge reason for concern. How can you fully immerse in the movie when the helmet lasts for two hours only? That's less than a typical movie now, and Apple has decided to quietly ignore telling us about the charging experience of this thing and whether it will work via the cable connected to a more powerful power source. And if that wasn't enough, the price is shocking, three and a half thousand dollars, and it won't even be available until early next year. I know this is a first gen device, but $3,500 is still a lot of money. Most people won't be able to afford it, and Apple knows that. They are building the infrastructure first, so when they release a cheaper version, it will be easier for the masses to catch up. Anyway, I will buy it for sure and share with you my experience. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you in the next one.